See, this section is about circles, and I know Jess is going to like that because he. I was wondering if you were going to make a comment. No, no. What, what, Jess? What do you know about circles? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead and say it. You know you want to. Sometimes they're solid, sometimes they're not. No, I thought you were going to say they're <laughs> round. I thought you were going to be. But uh, there, guys, you, you describe circles as being round. <laughs> what you need to understand is that a circle, this is um, the set of points. It's a set of points equidistant from one point, and that point is called the center. That's the technical definition of a circle, at least one of the definitions we have. It's a set or a collection of all the points that are equidistant, which means, what does equidistant mean? <coughs> equal, distance. equal distance from one particular point. Now, we have a few forms here, and one that you're going to like is called the center radius form. And this is the center radius form. X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared is equal to R squared. This is a form. Now I warned you about forms back in 0310 about the way they're set up. Notice how this form is set up with minuses in here. That means that when you are out <coughs> to identify the H and K, you do the opposite of what you see. From this form, the center is given by the coordinates h and k, and your radius is equal to r. Please note that this formula has r squared, but your radius is just r. Okay. Now, let me show you how we go about <coughs> working with <coughs> circles. Let me give you this example. If I have x minus 2 squared plus y plus 4 squared equals 25, your job right now is just to identify the center and the radius based off of the form that I've given you. Remember what I said about h and k. It's the opposite of what you see there. So what are the coordinates for your center? Two and negative four. Then what's your radius? Five. All you're doing is taking the information from that form. You may say, Mr. Craig, I see a minus two. I know you see a minus two, but I'm asking you to do the opposite of what you see. That's a positive two. I see a positive four, but what's the opposite of that? Negative four. And the way we got the five here is because we know this. According to my form, check this out. If r squared equals 25, then what must your r equal? <coughs> yes, it's got to be sync out. Yes, it's got to be 5. Now, if we've got this, you know what we need to do with this now, don't you? No, How about we graph this guy? I guess. <coughs> what do you mean, yes? <coughs> so let me, I'm just going to rewrite this guy so we know what we're doing here. Also so that when I scan this in later, you guys are going to be okay. I'm just going to move that off. Okay, so we have this guy. X minus 2 squared plus Y plus 4 quantity squared equals 25. You said that the Central point is equal to 2, negative 4, and we set the <coughs> radius is equal to 5. When you plot this, it's you need to make sure that the center is not a filled in circle. The center itself is not on the circle. So when I do negative or 2, negative 4, I'm going to use an open circle down here. How am I going to graph my circle? How do I graph with the radius? What do you think you would do? Go five units out in all directions. And we start with the cardinal directions, right? North, south, east, and west. So go up five here. Go down five. 
What was that? You go five over that direction. And then you're going to do your best to do what? <laughs> Not a, don't draw a diamond. Don't draw a square. You draw a circle. You guys understand what a circle looks like? It's round. Uh, how about as perfectly round as you can get it? It should, circle over here. It should look uh, something kind of like that. It should not look like an egg. It shouldn't look like a face. It should look like a... Yes, you know... <laughs> I guess I will determine what is and is not acceptable. <laughs>